Hey there everybody, this is The Great Escape and thank you for joining me for another tutorial in our redstone testing world. So what we're going to be looking at today is a, a fix to a common problem on the PS4 play, uh, Minecraft edition um, where in a system like this which you often see built on the Java or Bedrock edition doesn't work. Um, so we've got our little uh, our cows here in a one by one area. Um, with standing here on a trap door and when you pop the water in they jump up and you should be able to feed them and then they breed and then the baby cows will fall out the bottom the issue is in the minecraft uh ps4 edition Baby cows apparently cannot be spawned in a one by one area, but you saw just there they bred in that two by two area, so the moment that you broke them free. So we're going to redesign a very common uh, early days Minecraft uh, cow farm uh, that'll be fully automated so you can get all of the cooked, uh, the cooked beef that you need as well as your leather. Uh, so let's get right to it. All right, so this will be the uh, the farm that we're going to be building, and as you can see here, it is a uh, kind of a six by three building uh, with this optional little staircase here if you want easy access to the top. Um, but uh, it is kind of a modified version of one of Mumbo Jumbo's cow farms, uh, but his uses a one by one area here, which doesn't always work. Uh, but on the PS4 edition, if we do this, see we have them here in a two by two area. Um, I can feed them when they pop up. and let them breed. And then those baby cows are going to breed out and they're gonna pop down here into the, this little thing where we can wait for them to grow up. Now, occasionally there is uh, one slight issue with this because now they're in a two by two area. Occasionally you're gonna get one little baby cow here, uh, but that issue goes away the more cows you have in the little holder here. So let's throw a few more in. Let's feed those. And then we'll cut the water off. And as you can see, all of those baby cows are then popping over here. Um, so occasionally you're gonna have one that comes up in here, but he'll just grow up and become a big cow. And then you can use him for breeding purposes. And then the other baby cows will come down here and you can wait for them to grow up to become your uh, leather and your uh, cooked beef. As you can see here, we have one of our little cows has now grown all up. Um, so if I hit this button over here, we're gonna get a pulse of lava, boom, boom and he's gonna burn but notice that the baby cows who have not yet grown up do not take any damage and so uh pulsing that lava won't kill them and then we get the cooked beef or the cooked steak and the uh the leather down at the bottom so uh let's get into a quick tutorial and i'll show you how to build this on your server all right, so the materials that you're going to need to build this are in this little chest right here. Um, and it's not quite early game because you will need to have gone into the nether to get the one quartz for your comparator. But uh, the rest of this is pretty much uh, available uh, from a very early point in the game. Um, so you'll need about 64, a little baby less of any building block. This is built blocks of iron just because it's easy to count, but you can use any building block. Uh, five glass, if you want the design to look the way it looks in my world, you are more then welcome to block the whole thing in so you don't have to see the dirty work of uh, killing the the cute little cows uh, two signs a chest a hopper two dispensers one bucket of water one bucket of lava two buttons an observer a comparator two uh, redstone dust and then uh, any lighting source of your choice i'm going to use sea lanterns but you can use torches uh, whatever else and then if you want to include the optional little staircase but if you build this you know um, into um, you know the side of something you can climb up you might not need this but it will require five stairs and then 18 additional blocks to build all right so let's go ahead and get right to it
All right, so we're going to kind of build this layer by layer. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is build uh, basically a three by six area here. Um, so you'll go one, two, three, and then like this, uh, with the one exception that here you'll place your chest and here into the back of that you'll place your hopper, but then you'll fill in the rest of this uh, bottom layer like so. Uh, now the next step, uh, these blocks are just solid iron blocks like this this and you can do the same thing here and here um, and then right here we need a dispenser and just below that we will need a sign and you can make it say something if you want or you can just whoops um, or you can just leave it blank uh, now uh, from there you're going to place an observer facing this way and you'll hear the click when it's activated a comparator another click and then dust dust and out the front you'll place a button and that is the complete wiring for this dispenser here uh, so then you can block that off like so and if you go ahead and put your glass here and here um, and a lava bucket in there what you should see is a quick firing on and then off of that lava so boom boom perfect exactly what we want all right so our next step is to build the actual chamber for our cows so I'm gonna kind of fill this part in here and then I like to do this as glass uh, so that's our five pieces of glass I'll take that out of my inventory um, and now the back wall is just solid here you'll place your dispenser oops dispenser facing this way uh, and then you can do that and there's a button out the front here uh, you can place it on top if you want but i like to place a light there so I, i'll put it there and then you just need a sign here mm -hmm. i'm destined to throw signs in here uh, and then in this dispenser here you just want to put your water and if you want to test it you should see the water run out but not run into this chamber here like that. Um, all right, good. And then the last little bit, we need to just kind of top off this layer here. And this is where I like to put the lights, uh, which is why, oh, I took the sea lanterns out of my inventory. Uh, this is where I like to use things like sea lanterns or uh, glowstone or whatever is gonna match the uh, aesthetic of your base. Um, and you can place your lights there just so we make sure we don't have any mobs uh, spawning on top of this. And then you can fill in the last little bit with this block there and boom boom all right and that is actually the completed system so uh, we hit this button we get lava we hit this button we get water uh, and then we can turn that off now uh, the only thing left is to put some uh, cows into the system, but if you would like the little staircase, um, it's simple as placing a stair there, 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 whoops, uh, there, here, and if I just walk up here like this, and I can place another stair there, um, and this will get you up here so you can actually feed the cows. Uh, and if you don't mind the flying staircase, you can just leave it without these building blocks, but I like to fill that in. Um, and it doesn't have to be all one solid block. You can make this look however you want it to look, but that is our finalized system. If you want to put an item frame here that kind of lets people know what's in there, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, but let's get some cows in here and just run a quick little test. I'll show you how it works. Now, one benefit of having the stairs is that it does make it easier to get the cows actually into the system because they will follow you up those stairs with your wheat. And then once you get them up onto the platform, all you have to do is kind of push them into the hole. Mm -hmm. And with the two by two hole, they usually kind of fall into a little bit easier than trying to get them into a one by one space. But then to actually use it, all you gotta do is flip this, um, all those, can I reach it? There you go. All the cows are gonna pop up and you just hold down, whoops, you hold down your little, uh, your feeding thing until you get the hearts everywhere and you can just make sure you're feeding all the cows and then you can uh, flip this off and as you can see there we go we got two cows there were uh, four cows in the system so that gave us two cows and then it's just a matter of waiting about the 20 minutes until they grow up um, and then once they're grown you hit that switch hit that and it'll 
power on, kill those cows, drop the drops in there. Um, I don't need the cows in there. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been The Great Escape. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, drop a like. If you want to see more tutorials like it, hit subscribe. Uh, and thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.